Welcome back. In this video, we're going to get up and running quickly with the modular subtractive synth using the early access features of the new Unreal Audio engine. I'm going to show you how to set up a modular synth component and trigger simple note on and note off events. Let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is open up the project which we set up in the previous video. Also, as a reminder, these tutorials follow the instructions in the Quick Start Guide hosted by Dan Reynolds, who's a technical sound designer at Epic. That Quick Start Guide can be found by clicking the link in the description below. The modular synth is a component which can be added to an existing actor or a custom blueprint actor. Let's go over to the modes and drag one of these empty actors into the scene. Now, let's click on the blueprint slash add script button. Create blueprint. Let's name the blueprint synth underscore BP and then press create blueprint. This will open up the blueprint editor for our new synth BP actor. I'm going to go ahead and tab this up at the top of the editor. In the Add Component dropdown, type in Modular and select the Modular Synth. This is going to add a Modular Synth to your actor. Go ahead and press Enter or name the Synth whatever you'd like. I'm just going to leave it at the default Modular Synth. Once the Modular Synth component has been added to the actor, let's go ahead and go to the Event Graph and start building out a blueprint so that we can start making sound. First, I'm going to get rid of the default nodes that are created with every blueprint. Now, a subtractive synth is complex by nature and contains a multitude of settings and parameters to shape the sound it makes. But we can start making noise quickly by using the default settings of the modular synth. We can play the synth by using a note on node. Right click in the blueprint and start typing note on. Once our note on is created, you can see that it's automatically targeting the modular synth component on our actor. Next, the note field takes a value between 0 and 127, which corresponds to MIDI note values. However, the value is set up as a float, so that means that you can actually play sounds between the MIDI notes in a float value anywhere between 0 and 127. I'm going to go ahead and set it to 60. MIDI note 60 corresponds to the middle C note on a piano keyboard. Next, there's the velocity field. Velocity scales volume of the note using the MIDI value 0 to 127. Let's choose 100. Finally, the duration is the time in seconds that the note will play for. A value less than zero means the note will play indefinitely or until stopped by another function. I'm going to go ahead and leave it at minus one so that our note when triggered will play indefinitely. Now we need a way to trigger this note on node. Let's use a key press. Right click in the blueprint and type in any key you want. I'm going to type in the one key. Here under keyboard events, we see the one key press event. I'm going to go ahead and connect the pressed execution pin to the note on node. Then I'm going to compile. Now, before we hit play, I want to make sure that this actor is going to be receiving input from the player controller. So I'm going to click on the root of the actor, the synth underscore BP. Uh, self component at the root and scroll down to input and I'm going to click on auto receive input and set it to player zero and that's going to ensure that when we actually hit the number one key on our keyboard uh, this actor will receive that input and trigger this key press event which will trigger our note on node. Before I forget um, we have to make sure that the modular synth is activated. So go ahead and select um, the modular synth component and then scroll down to where it uh, says activation and check auto activate. 
This is going to ensure that the modular synth component is activated when you enter play mode. Now hit compile and hit save. Then before we enter play mode, go ahead and go to file, save all. And what you're being asked to do here is to save the level. So I'm just going to call mine uh, synth level and then hit enter. Next, I'm going to go to the drop down next to the play button and uh, select a new editor window for my play in editor mode. All right, so here we are in our scene. And now when I press the one button, I should hear my modular synth play. And there it is. Now let's add behavior such that uh, when a key is pressed, the note will play. And then when the one key is released, the note will shut off. We can do that by using a note off node for our modular synth component. So I'm just going to move this note on note up a little bit, make some room, and then right click and type in note. And you'll see here under the synth audio components, we have a note off node. Go ahead and select that. It is once again targeting our modular synth. Um, we can leave that if we want to, or we could drag uh, we can drag a line from our modular synth that's already created into our target. Doesn't really matter. They both do the same thing. Now this note off node, the note has to match the same note on our note on. So we're going to set this to 60. And then we have these all notes off and the kill all notes Boolean. Um, I'm going to set both of those to on. And then I'm going to connect the released pin of my one key press and connect that with my note off node. Let's compile, save, and then play. Now I'm going to press the one key, and when I release it, the note should turn off. So I should be able to play uh, the note kind of similarly to a piano key. All right, we now have all the tools that we need to start building out some pretty cool stuff. For example, you could use these tools to build something like a MIDI keyboard from the keys on your computer keyboard. Um, and we could set up a very, very, very tiny basic version of that right now, just a quick model to show you um, how that would work. We would just map different key presses to different notes. So I'm just going to clean this up a little bit and I'm going to zoom out here and uh, move these up here like this. And just get that out of the way. And we're basically just going to model this again, except we're going to create a um, key to press. So I'm going to copy and paste all of this and move it down here. Like so, give myself a little bit of room. And then uh, go ahead and search for key two, create a number two key press event, and connect that to this note on and note off node. And all we're going to have to do on this second set is uh, change the note. So this note on the number one key press is going to be uh, MIDI note 60. I'm just, for the purposes of this tutorial, going to set the number two to uh, MIDI note 65. Okay, then I'm going to compile and save. And when I play, I press key one, plays MIDI note 60, key two, plays MIDI note 65. So I already got a little uh, piano keyboard going on there. Um, that's a really, really basic um, version. You can set up a different key for every uh, note on the piano within a certain octave range, for example, if you wanted to. One more thing I want to show you before we end this video is how to set up a key to play a random note every time that you press it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy these notes here, uh, move them up here to a new section of the blueprint. And then I'm going to create a key press three event. 
and connect this just like I did with um, the other note on and note off nodes. Now I'm going to need to be able to feed a random value into this um, note field. And I can do that by first creating a variable. And I'm going to call this variable note. And I'm going to set the type of variable to a float to make it more interesting. I could set it to an integer, but a float is going to be more inter interesting. So I'm going to drag this variable into my blueprint. And I'm going to need the key press to pass through this um, set node before it hits the note on node. So I'm going to get rid of this uh, execution wire, I'm going to move this set node up here in the path between uh, pressed and note on. And then I'm going to create a random node. And the node we want is random float in range. Uh, we we want to set a range for our notes because the range for the note field goes from 0 to 127. So 0 isn't even, it doesn't even register as a sound. It's just a series of pulses. So I'm going to set a range between 20 and, say, 100. And then I'm going to connect this return value to my uh, note value for the variable here and then connect the output to the target note. And now when I press the number three on my keyboard, it's going to set the variable note to a random float value between 20 and 100 and then feed that value into uh, my note on and note off. The other thing I can do is I could actually see what MIDI note I'm playing by creating a print node, print string node. And I'm kind of starting to get a little bit sloppy with my wiring here, but that's OK. Um, let's see, I'm just going to move this up a little bit. Move this print string right here. And I'm going to print the output of that uh, of the note variable every time I play a note. There we go. Compile, save, and let's hit play. You can see up in the uh, top right corner the number of the MIDI note that's actually being passed to my note on and note off values every time that I play a note. And that's it for this video. In the next video, we're going to get into tweaking the synthesizer parameters to shape our sound and also how to use preset banks. Thanks so much for watching.